Hello, and welcome back to Soul Spy University, Halloween edition. So today is a Halloween topic, and Tom is uh, driving us in his topic, which I didn't realize until right now is a murder. So um, again, we are going to try to um, refrain from being funny. I covered the last murder that was also his idea, but that was that was very serious and emotional. And um, and let's, you know, God rest them in peace. Um, so now I'm going to do my best. And that that cast was completely sober out of respect for Gabby. Um, now I'm going to do my best uh, during what he's going to fill us in on, on the Murdoch murders, um, to also not be funny. Um, sorry about the hat. Didn't know we were covering a murder. Halloween segment. Take it from here, Tom. Yeah, uh, multiple murders. And I, I guess we could be a little bit funny because this guy really screwed up his life. So it's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run down a little bit of it. So basically, first and foremost, on July 2015, uh, this kid named Stephen Smith was found dead. And that's just, that's just to keep in mind. Uh, he, they were telling his parents multiple things. First, they told him that he was shot and killed. Then they told him he was beaten to death. Then they told him it was a hit and run. And then uh, the case was just, you know, dead. They, they didn't want to, nobody looked into it. It was just, oh, well, no, nothing happened. Like, you know, we can't find any evidence, whatever. So that was 2015. So just and hold on to that. Who was he in relation to them? He was friend, uh, friends with, um, this kid named uh, Paul Murdoch. Okay. Uh, and that's the so, son of the guy, right? Yeah. So I'll let you know about that first. Okay. Anyway, so in 2018, Gloria Satterfield, who was the 20 year plus maid and housekeeper for the Murdochs, she trips and falls in the Murdoch house and dies. Okay, so just to give everybody an overview, because I have no idea either, but I think he told me a little a week or so ago. This is a family we're talking about, correct? Yes, yes. Um, and it was this, so it's, it's, a, it's a wife, a husband, and a few sons. Yes. One of the sons had a friend who got murdered in 2015, you said, right? Correct. A male friend. Yes. Okay. And then in 2000, what was the year that the maid of that died? 18. Okay, 2018, their maid also died. I'm sorry, go ahead with this maid. So just, just a quick rundown. The Murdaughs are a huge, very, very wealthy family down in North Car uh, South Carolina. And uh, they, most of them are lawyers or judges or whatever, but they're, they're huge down there, big, big time family but anyway so in 2018 uh the maid trips and falls in the house and falls on the steps and dies and then um the son of the maid tells people that she he had overheard um that or no i'm sorry that she had overheard uh alex saying that he was going to sue himself to make like all these all this money and everything and then he told Alex, his son this is what Alex is the father. Yes, Alex Murdoch said that he was going to sue himself to make money for the family. I don't understand it. I don't know how you can sue yourself. Uh, I think people need a little more of a timeline and a breakdown. This uh, is also 2018. Okay, somebody overheard. Yes, uh, the son. Um, okay, the son of the maid that. Well, Yes, Gloria Satterfield's son. They don't they don't mention him by name. Did he hear uh -huh. it before his mom, who's a maid pastor yes. at before? Yes. That he and then he also he, he was heard, also told. He heard that the father, who is the head of the household, Alex Murdoch, right, was going to sue himself yes. for money. Correct. Okay. Well, I just want to make sure everybody's in on the uh the storyline because so now, um, after the mother dies and the coroner rules it an uh, accidental death. 
The mother. Mm-hmm. Now we're on to the mother, not the me. The me, yes, the kid's okay. mother. Okay, what well, you did not. After, okay. okay. After the kid's mother dies, after the maid dies, Gloria, um, Alex approaches the son and says, oh, I'm so sorry, this and that. And then Al- the son brought up, he's like, oh, I heard you were going to sue yourself. And then like, it was weird. And then he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to do it for your family. He makes up a saying, okay. saying, oh, yeah, yeah, I decided that like, since she died, we're going to, I'm going to sue myself. And like, I'm going to try to get money for you guys to take care of you. Okay, that's nice. Okay. And to this day, they haven't seen a dime of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that, that, that fell through. Huh. Anyway. Fast forward. I hope he didn't just forget. I got that. So fast forward, February 2019, Mallory Beach. Can we just uh, be on that topic for one second? Can you imagine you're like bullet journaling of to-do lists and it's like, you know, eat oatmeal, work out, plant, plant, water, other plant, sue self, yoga. And then like each day he's like, Mm, priorities what can you take out it's the year well, I, <laughs> I don't understand how you can sue yourself in the first place i don't know how that works well lawyers do everything so yeah uh so anyway in 2015 uh, 2019 uh mallory beach a 19 year old dies in a boat crash and she her body's not found until like a couple days later but the boat was found abandoned with uh, just a ton of empty beer cans and some alcohol and with blood, a lot of blood everywhere. And um, it was later found out that it was being driven by, uh, what's his name? Oh, Buster. Can, uh, I, sorry, can you backtrack in case the audience is as slow as me? Because I feel that some people, this is a lot to catch up on. So can you just, you're saying now it's 2019 in the story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is, uh, most of the story takes place in like oct- August of this year. Like it's, it's insane how much. What is going on in, what is going on in August of this year? Yeah, I'll get to it. <laughs> but it, this family is like, is a real shit show. <laughs> so it's like. It's, so everybody's just uh, sniffing each other up. Okay, wait. So August of this year, you said there was a girl that now. No, is she, okay. No. That was that was February two thousand nineteen. Oh, there was a girl. Yes, she okay. you know, nineteen year old who is found dead. Like she there was a there's a boat crash, and uh, her body was found two days later, and the boat was being driven by Buster uh, Murdoch. His real name is Alex uh, Jr. or whatever, but they all call him Buster. And he was hammered and he crashed a boat and basically like, you know, oh yeah, no, I didn't do anything. He, when they, when the police finally arrested him to, uh, to bring him before court, he pled not guilty remember what I said that the family is very very like powerful down there uh they were basically trying to sweep this under the rug the whole entire time like oh no he didn't do anything wrong uh she was drinking heavily and they tried blaming the girl and she they it wasn't just them too there was a bunch of people on the boat oh my god so uh, a bunch of people got hurt, but they didn't get killed like she did. And she got killed from the crash? She got killed from the crash, yes. Oh, my God. So all these people were basically what people, what they're, you know, thinking is that they were paid off to be like, hey, listen, nothing happened. Oh, you my know, God. Nobody spoke. Nobody said anything. And I'll, uh, I'm sorry. I messed that one up. It was Paul Murdoch. Paul Murdoch. Is the one that was right, driving the boat, not 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 Buster. Okay. Um, now, do you know which one was associated with the male friend that that got killed? Uh, that I believe was also Buster. Uh, but I'm sorry, Paul. I keep putting them two together. So uh, if all of Paul's friends are getting killed. Basically, yeah, all of Paul's friends are getting killed. 
close. So, to Paul. yes. So don't so get he close was, to Paul. Memo to self. Don't get close to Paul. Yeah. Well, so anyway, <laughs> uh, he was indicated into the boat crash. And so they, they finally got through and they were like, listen, we're going to, we're going to, um, put this uh, for a later date that we're going to actually have a, a, uh, a trial. The other thing that I was saying, and this is why I kept saying Buster, unfortunately, now I remember, Buster was also on the boat with them. Buster is the other son. Okay, just busting, now, it up. just busting the boat up. Yeah, so he was also, he was, he's also like, you know, in trouble for this. Wow. So he might be getting, going to jail too. He's, all right. That's, that being said, now but it gets into the crazy. Wait, but that was 2019, February, right? That was, yes. Yeah, February is when she died. April is when they indicated him. Indicted him. Okay, indicted um, Paul? Yes, Paul. And does that mean he's in trouble? Yeah, he's, it's basically saying that, listen, we're going to, we're going to be uh, doing a trial on you to see if you're guilty and then you're going to go to jail or not. Oh, so we didn't get away with it. No, they tried. They tried their best, but they, there was too much evidence. Like his own blood and his brother's blood were on the boat too. And like saliva from the beer cans and, and like, it's like, oh wait, this is also your boat. So it's like, all right. Blood spit in boats. Yeah, blood spit and boat. <laughs> All right, now it gets crazy. Now it gets crazy. Yeah. Hang on. Now let, me, gets... let me take a communion sip here. <laughs> nice mug. Thank you. Uh, so anyway, now it gets nuts. So June of 2021, this year, um, Alex... Uh, comes home, I'm sorry, goes to his cabin and finds his wife and son, Paul, shot to death. All right, so Alex is the dad. He goes yes. to the cabin. I love cabins. Now this now this made cabin mad creepy. Um, found his wife and Paul shot to death. Oh my God. God, yeah. he, he's a great protector, huh? Yeah, so anyway, uh, he calls the cops saying, you know, oh, this and that, you know, come. I, I, my, my, my wife and son, and the, the, the phone call is like creepy as hell because he's, he's like completely monotone. He's like, they're like, oh, he was in shock, but it's, it, it sounded like, oh yeah, uh, my wife and son are dead. Could you just, you know, come on over? <laughs> You're kidding. It sounds, no, it sounds really weird. Uh, oh my so God. Anyway, uh, now here's the thing. What people later on find out is that the wife was filing for divorce for Alex and she was trying to get a forensic accountant uh, to pick apart his business dealings and everything so that she can get as much money as she can from him. Let that be known first. Okay. And um, Paul who died also, he was the one that was indicated. Um, he obviously was, they, they obviously dropped the, char the charges on him because, you know, he's dead. So what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, that's that. That was June. Now to September. I go, I'll, I'll actually, let me add on. The family kind of went into a whole thing. Like the uncles were like, we're going to give $100,000 to anybody who can bring, you know, help bring whoever did this to justice. And of course, there was no information anywhere because you'll find out later that maybe it was an inside job. <laughs> now, the uncles of Paul or the uncles of the wife? Yeah. Okay. The uncles of Paul. So, uh, oh, so Alex's brother. Is it Alex's brother or is it the wife's brothers? Alex's brothers. So that's that. So like uh, nothing came about it. Nobody found any information. They thought maybe it was it was like retaliation for the pull, the the boat thing, like the kid killing the girl on the boat crash. 
I have a question that I'm not going to answer on air. Tell <laughs> that I want to ask something about the girl, and then we'll know. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, go ahead. So, uh, but nothing came of that either. Anyway, so fast forward to September of this year. So this month, <laughs> yeah. um, Alex was changing a tire when he was shot in the head. And police, they, I mean, the ambulance rushed him to the hospital and it turned out he was perfectly fine. It was a really bad shot. Uh, they need to get rid so, of their black cat. Yeah, so um, Alex, you know, he says, oh, it was, he described the car that, that uh, the person that shot him pretty descriptively for somebody who just got shot in the head. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, Please love, looking for. Love at first sight. So anyway, uh, Alex, that was on Alex, September 4th. September 6th, he resigns from his um, from his law firm. And he's saying, you know, irreconcilable differences, whatever, just too many different. But the law firm goes ahead and puts out that he was going to be fired no matter what and prosecuted because he was stealing millions and millions of dollars from the firm. Oh my God. Which is crazy. Then you find out um, a couple of days later, September 14th, Curtis Smith is arrested, 61 year old, is arrested um, for being the one who shot Alex. Uh, then he goes ahead and starts talking and he's like, listen, this wasn't, you know, murder to be murdered. This was assistant suicide. He wanted to pay me, um, to kill him so that his son Buster, who's also being tried for the boat thing, it, it, you know, will have the money. Uh, yeah. This guy, he, Curtis is one of Alex's clients. He's also, this is where it comes into light, his drug dealer. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. How many things are you gonna be to one person? Yeah. So it then turns out that Alex was addicted, like heavily addicted to opioids for the last 20 years. And he had been draining the family's fortune dry to try to feed his addiction. And oh. that's, why, that's why he also started stealing from his, uh, from his firm just for opioids. Yeah, how long ago did he start stealing from his firm? They didn't specify, they didn't say that. They just said that for years he's been doing it. So God knows. Damn. I mean, if he, if he went through his fortune in 20 years and then started stealing millions from a freaking firm, like how much, like how, to, first of all, how the hell are drugs that expensive? And it's like, and it's like, how much are you doing that nobody noticed this for 20 years? Well, maybe the wife did, and that's why she wanted to divorce him. And I'm wondering what, what exactly is a forensic uh, accountant, uh, which is what she hired. A forensic accountant picks apart literally the most minute spending and anything you do. Even if you buy a, a coffee uh, with your card, that dollar something is something that he looks into. Okay, because she wanted to know where all the money went? Yes, her family, the, the actual family money. And that's why uh, he um, was, that, that's, was specific, that's why they think that he killed his wife, basically. He had his wife killed. Do that's you, That's what I was getting at. Do you think that she knew about the drugs or do you think she didn't know the extent of it how can a spouse not know like for, for 20 years how can she not know oh there's like, stories there's many stories like that but for like so that's 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 what they're they're thinking right now is that he had killed got someone to kill his wife and unfortunately paul was also there so maybe the guy freaked out and killed paul too now there's another theory let me go back. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, when I said 2015, uh, Stephen Smith was killed. Now, at that time, Stephen Smith had said that him and Paul 
even though they were friends, well, they were having a sexual relationship too. So, uh, is and he wanted one, to- This is the same one whose girlfriend got killed years later? Paul? No, no. Well, Paul, that, that, they, that's not his girlfriend. They didn't specify if that was his girlfriend or anything. It was just a friend. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So I'm talking about the kid in the beginning. I told I'm you, aware. Stephen Smith. I'm aware. That got killed. I just didn't know so, he had a boyfriend and then a girlfriend. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, they didn't say that there was his girlfriend or anything, but they said that Stephen and Paul were having, uh, Stephen said that he and Paul were having a sexual relationship. Okay. So somehow uh, Alex finds out about this. They don't say how. Uh, people are speculating that maybe Stephen was trying to get some money from the family to keep quiet. About, because, okay. Uh, yeah, about his son having a gay relationship. Um, you're so, saying, they think, so you're saying Alex wanted money? No, Stephen, the kid that got killed in the beginning. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. But you're uh, saying she wanted money from Alex to keep quiet? From the family, yeah. Okay. That's what they're saying. That's what people, some people have said, but there's no proof. There's no proof. Was there any witnesses that came to say that? Or do you think... Um, no, it's all speculation. Uh, some people, some of the family said that, you know, like they're really breaking down his character saying, oh no, that guy was horrible, blah, 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 blah. He was, av what they were saying is that he was obviously after our money. He was, you know, making up lies and all this stuff. So it's not, it's it's not 100% true, uh, not 100% known if it's true or not. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, the guy was run down slash beat up slash shot in the middle of a highway, like abandoned highway. <laughs> so we don't know which one it was. They told the mother three different stories. The okay. police told the mother, mother three different stories. Then the story, then the, the murder went away. Wait, this was the boyfriend that got killed? Yeah, Stephen. Told whose mom? No, he was dead. He didn't tell anybody. I'm aware. His mother was told by the police when she was trying to ask how he died. Yes, they told three her. They told her three different stories. Yes, Stephen's mother. Yes. Okay. So, um, let's see. Um, oh, September 15th. So, finally, the start evidence started like building and they started looking into all the deaths in Alex's past and the only one so far that's sticking is Gloria the maid so now he is indicated in the wrongful death of her indicted whatever okay so right now he's going to jail he might be going to jail for that and he, oh, he, you know, he turned himself in and everything. The cops are like, it's like, it's not like you're going anywhere. So that's where the story is ending. In, in a year, in what, two, two years, three years, there's been a lot of death and it all surrounds this guy because he just popping drugs like crazy, thinking that he's untouchable. Oh my God. So do you know, um, so he tried to, he tried to turn himself in, you said, and the he cops did. the cops didn't take him. No, they did. Oh. But he was, it's not like he was going anywhere. A guy got shot in the head. He he went from hospital to jail. Oh, so he's in jail right now. Oh, holding. Uh they they offered him a because of I think actually he got out because they the judge, like I said, family's very big down there and gave him a uh $55,000 bail. Mind you, this family's rich as hell, supposedly, because whatever, he went through money. So $55,000, they're starting to say like, uh, what the hell, what kind of, what is this? This doesn't make sense. This man is obviously, you know, a threat to himself. He might kill himself, a threat to others because of all the surrounding deaths around him. And he might be a flight risk. So, so uh, they're saying that maybe the, the judge was playing favorites and gave so him a fifty-five thousand dollars bail. Got released on fifty-five thousand dollars bail. Yeah. 
So, so right he's now he's not in jail. He is not in jail. He's not in jail. No, he went from the prison to jail, but now he got released on bail. I don't know why I'm rhyming, I'm rhyming, but. Because <laughs> you have to uh, make sense. Yeah, well, what do you want? But this, this guy is like, this is an insane story. And right now it's all over the news. So, um, <laughs> but out of all the, all the deaths, it's like he's only getting charged with one. It's crazy. Huh, that is nuts. Well, happy Halloween. Uh, anything you need to say about this? Uh, no, not really. I mean, it, this is just like a, this is a fascinating story. Like, you can't believe that you, this is something you would hear in, uh, in a movie or something like that, not a real life thing. Oh my God. So now he's out just hanging out. Well, yeah, he's he out on bail, but I, I'm fairly certain they put like a ankle bracelet or something on him to make sure he doesn't go running. And how many sons are left? I believe there's just one, Buster. That was the whole reason he wanted to kill himself. He wanted to get Buster the $10 million um, life insurance policy because uh, life insurance, his life insurance said that if he killed himself, they, yeah. they won't pay out. So he has to die in another way that's what the whole assisted suicide came from okay and buster is he still in trouble for the girl's death on the boat yes okay it kind of looks like he's going to jail and how much is his bail like ten dollars it didn't say but uh i'm assuming it's like nothing as well well I'm glad you guys stopped by at Soul Spot <laughs> University. We like to really bring up the mood here. <laughs> it is Halloween edition. This was Tommy's uh, topic. And um, we will be covering more Halloween episodes. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not in full costume because I was in the middle of putting one on and he told me it was about a murder. So I only allowed this much. But um, yes. Yes, uh, God bless. Oh, uh, please like and subscribe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you like this content and uh, hit that notification bell so that we're not missing. Um, oh, God. Anyway, you good there? I'm good. Thanks, All everyone. Right. All right. Namaste, everyone. Happy Halloween. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>